During the 9th century, while holding court in Oviedo, King Alphonse the Chase set out on a journey to Galicia, in the northwest of the peninsula, in order to confirm the discovery of the remains of the Apostle St. James. On confirmation that the discovery was indeed St. James, King Alphonse ordered the construction of a magnificent basilica to store the saint's remains, and since then, the way to Santiago de Compostela has become one of the first and most important Christian pilgrimages in the world. The northern route to Santiago, as it passes through Asturias, was used by the first European pilgrims as it followed along the pre-existing route carved out by the local inhabitants thousands of years before, especially between the European coastal communities of the Atlantic Arc. From the dawn of the Jacobean era and due to the Moorish conflicts throughout Spain, this was the safest way to Santiago as only the Cantabric coastline was free from the domination and attacks by the Moors. Afterwards, between the 12th and 13th centuries, the coastal route was considered as the most popular maritime and overland way to arrive at Santiago. The coastal route in Astorias passes through 23 different councils, Riba de Deva, Janus, Riba de Sea, Carabia, Colunga, Via Viciosa, Gijón, Carriño, Cobera, Aviles, Castorion, Soro de Barco, Pravia, Muros de Nalón, Corriero, Valdez, Navia, Coaña, El Franco, Tapia de Casariego, Castropol, Pegadeo, and San Tirso de Abres. As you cross the bridge over the river Deva and enter into the Principality of Asturias, you soon become aware that not only are you on a historically important stage of the route of St. James, but also that Asturias has much to offer her visitors and much to marvel over. This is a region that some have labelled the best kept secret in Spain, and there's a good reason for that. Pilgrims will be treated to some of the most spectacular landscapes the country has to offer, such as the stunning Picos de Europa, the Sierra de Suave, the River Eo Reserve, beautiful beaches, and some very eye-catching natural phenomena. Visitors can make a stop at the many viewpoints and beauty spots ideal for taking memorable photos or simply resting a while and taking the environment in. A brief detour along some of the other coastal walkways will allow pilgrims to discover fabulous coves and beaches where you can take a refreshing swim to energize your body. This dramatic landscape, both mountainous and coastal, is responsible for the temperate climate of Asturias. The region is wonderfully lush and vibrant, and is a bountiful land for gastronomy. Pilgrims will be given an opportunity to try the freshest fish and seafood caught locally and served to perfection, or sample the fine locally reared beef, lamb, chicken and pork prepared in a traditional way that will satisfy even the biggest appetite. You cannot pass through Asturias, a region famous for its food producers and artisans, without tasting the wonderful cheeses with more than 40 varieties to choose from. Are the local honey, the fava bean casseroles, smoked chorizo, blood sausage, cider, preserves, traditional breads, fresh vegetables and fruits, wine, liqueurs and delicious desserts. Every step a pilgrim takes along the Asturias leg of the route of St. James is a step along time and history, dating back as far as the Jurassic period when dinosaurs dominated the region, to early man and the development of culture, from the inventive Bronze Age to the secretive and hidden Celtic traditions and the unique pre-Romanesque architecture and examples of Roman occupation, chapels, monasteries and medieval towers. From times of mass emigration and the influences of faraway lands, to the dramatic industrial revolution, from times of modernity to a time of hopefulness for the future. This impressive history is visible at every turn of the way, be it in the bustling cities or the small coastal villages. The cities offer pilgrims plenty of excellent accommodation, places to eat and visit, and many streets dedicated to shopping in order to stock up on essentials. The coastal villages and towns offer their visitors a chance to rest weary feet and experience a lifestyle that still operates today as it did many years ago with the added advantage of beautiful rural hotels and restaurants. Whether the reason for passing through Astorias is a spiritual or touristic one, pilgrims will always be greeted by a warm and friendly people that wish to make the visitors' experience a very fulfilling and enjoyable one. Taking time to explore the region more will allow visitors to witness a real and lively part of Spain that is fast becoming a destination of choice for those looking for a unique holiday experience. Welcome to Astorias and Buen Camino.